Sharks, skates, and rays are ocean-dwelling and freshwater-dwelling animals called elasmobranchies. While they come in many sizes and shapes, from the giant whale shark and the huge manta ray to the dwarf lantern shark and the tiny short-nosed electric ray, all living elasmobranchies share certain key features. First of all, their skeletons are made up of strong, flexible, and light material called cartilage rather than bone, making them fundamentally different from other fish. Other important characteristics include their rows of replaceable teeth and the five to seven gill slits on each side of their body. They also have many highly developed senses, including the amazing ability to perceive tiny changes in electricity around them. Sharks, as well as rays and skates, often use this sense for finding prey, as well as for finding the way around their water. Saving energy is one of the several characteristics that have made the Alaska branches successful predators. Sharks and rays do not have to feed as much as other organisms of the same size. Alaska branches skin also saves energy. In sharks, the skin elasticity helps transfer energy to the tail for swimming. The scales point backwards to trap a film of water close to the organism's body. It reduces friction while the, or while the animal swims. It also branches save energy in the same way they maintain a balance with the surrounding saltwater environment. While other fish pump the salt out, sharks and rays store urea and other chemicals in their tissues so the water density matches the density outside their tissues. They use little energy compared to other fish. It also branches grow and replace teeth. Sharks have a conveyor belt of multiple rows of teeth that are constantly growing and swinging into place as other teeth fall out. A unique Elasso branches characteristic is a sense of electroception, the ability to sense electricity created by muscles and nerves. In the following model, we have the stomach. Then we have the intestine. Following, we have the heart, the gonad, the spiral valve, Then in this one, we have the rectal gland, the cloaca, and the anus of the shark. And lastly, we have the kidney. Sharks are made out of cartilage. They have plasoid scales which protect the skin. The anterior, posterior, pectoral, and pelvic dorsal fins controls your direction as it swims while the tail propels it. The external gill stits discharges water that has come through the mouth and passed over the gills. The gills are fans of tissue that take oxygen from the water and discharges carbon dioxide into it. The esophagus passes food to their stomach for storing meals until digestion begins. Their spiracle is located right next to the eye it allows water to enter the mouth of the shark when it's eating its prey. The clocoa is in the underside of the shark's body, towards the tail. It receives products from the digestive, excretory, and reproductive systems, meaning it receives urine, solid waste, and gametes. The rectal gland is on top of the clocoa and connects to it. The rectal gland removes excess salts from the shark's circulation. The anus is connected to the rectal gland and closer to the tail and in front of the anal fin. The intestine is the major area of digestion. It connects to the stomach and the spiral valve. Underneath the stomach is the kidney, which eliminates toxic waste. 